Hey, what's going on guys? Double A Does Reviews back at it, checking in with you for a uh, April haul so far. Uh, got several things in, several more things on the way, um, but it's my birthday month, so I tend to go a little OD in April, um, although, I don't know. This might not stack up. There's two more, mm, there's four more things on the way uh, for April, um, two of which are shoes, two of which are not, but... I'll throw the other two things on here just because they're kind of rare or, you know, uncommon or whatnot. Um, got the sneaker room set up. I showed you guys that um, maybe 10 days ago now. But anywho, um, into these things that I got in today. Um, so we have Air Max 2090. Bang, bang. Get a better view of that. Came out Air Max Day, March 26th. The men's colorway, as usual, um, not as dope as the women's colorway. I'll show you my wife's pair that she bought um, on the rack here. If I don't destroy her whole shoe rack in the process. The women's colorway is just a million times better than the men's. Come on, for real? For real? Ladies, which one would you rather wear? This super hot fire or the old man special that I pulled out of the box. There you go. Just fire, it's not even fair. It's not even fair. Um, I'll give you guys an on foot look of the ladies one just cause I know there's a, a couple ladies that might care to know. A couple of these are not mine, but come on. This box always gets my attention. The real ones know. Uh, for those that don't, this box was the mid to late 90s box for pretty much everything Nike was putting out. Um, from your pennies to your Jordans to your Air Max. Like anything that was worth looking at in the mid to late 90s came in this box. With the, I mean, it's just like, it's, the box is iconic. Like, ugh, I think the first shoe they brought back with this box uh, was Flu Gang 12s, 2016 ish. These are not mine. Sad to report. These are a gift for a close friend. But come on. What's the name of this pink? Pink phone. I was like, okay, these are cool. And then I got them in hand in that box, first of all. Come on. Like, you know I'm buying these. You know I'm buying these. Tell you the truth. The 2090s, I don't really bang with like that. Then I took these out of the box and I was like, oh. These are coming home. So, I will begrudgingly be sending those off as a gift. Not mine. Only a half size small though. No, I'm not gonna try them on. I'd never do that, that's dirty. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I already have a pair of these. These are another gift. You've seen you've seen these on my foot um, from time to time. These are like my go-tos now. My pair is so beat up, unfortunately. I need to get another pair. Got these on sale for $41. How? God is good, that's how. These are getting sent off along with these, the original Fly Knit Free. Back when Nike was still doing the Nike Plus chip in the inside of the shoe. These, fire. Like, I could do a whole video on just like how much ground these broke, because this is another one. Flyknit really, like it came out and it was doing well, but it really soared on this shoe. I never wore this shoe and felt anything other than just like, oh my God, is this a sock? Like, it's so light, like it's dumb light. Like I need to get the specs and, and check out the weight. The weight will be a size 10 and I wear a nine and a half, or excuse me, 11 and a half, I wear 11 and a half. Uh, the weights will be in size 10 format, but I mean, it's it can't be more than like four ounces, maybe. Um, into some of the other goodies I bought for myself for my birthday, an SB, because, you know, I've been on this SB wave lately. Team Classic, bang, bang. No, I'm not trying to emulate Fomer Simpson, although I am a big fan of his channel. Um, that'll probably be the first and only time you hear me say bang, bang. But these, 
kind of offbeat, right? Like, I don't bang with brown that much, but these with the pink, you know, anything pink I'm gonna go for. The insole is pretty fresh as well, I bang with that. I like the one gold eyelet, the one gold tooth in there. That's that's a nice touch. Premium materials too, SB, I see you. I see you, SB. Another one, $41. How was I gonna say no to a Flyknit React 2 for $41? In this like springtime, although the Rona got everybody locked down, this springtime, summertime, if you catch me in, in, in these and a tank top and some shades on, just know I probably had a couple. Don't worry about that. You know what I'm saying? You see my girl, she's, you know, she got the cleavage out. You know, we you don't see us with the kids, kids are over at my mom's house. Just know we probably had a couple, okay? Enjoying some time, you know what I'm saying? Catch me beachside in these. Do you feel me? Look, look at the vibes. Check out the outsole too. Ow. Part icy, part lemon lime. You know what I'm saying? I want a margarita just looking at these. Look at them. Bang, bang. I lied. That's the last time you heard me say that. Boom. Kill shot two. So J. Crew, the retailer, did a pack of these. They, they like brought back the kill shot in a way. Uh, let me see if I can find them. Hang on. I don't have too many shoes. I don't have a problem either. So, okay. Uh, J. Crew brought this one back like 2017. You can tell I bangs with these. I love these. These joints look great with khakis, whatever. I have this pair of like crop, not crop, not khaki, not capri. They're like just like man swag pants. You know what I'm saying? They're a little slim. You know what I'm saying? They fit me appropriately. My wife doesn't like when I wear them. I'll put it that way. Um, with the J. Crew kicks, fire looks, super fire looks. So uh, when they came with the red, these ones came out in J. Crew. Uh, you see the blue, you see the red. I, I had to do it. I had to do it. Uh, these ones came out in J. Crew, so I was like, damn, because I really had to go on the hunt for these. Like these did not exist in 11 and a half. So I'm like, damn. I was in Memphis at the time. Moved to D.C. Couldn't get them. Couldn't find them. Whatever. Um, and then I moved. You know. Again and got on a list uh, at a J. Crew store. And they're like, no, we don't have them, we don't have them. And then bang, like three months later, they called me and was like, yeah, you need the 11 and a half still? I'm like, yes, I do, do you have them? They're like, yeah, we, um, we're, we'll we go ahead and give you 15% off because you know you you were the only person that waited on the list, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, bet, hold that, I'll be right there. Went, scooped them up. So anyway, fast forward, uh, crazy color, had to have them. The leather on these, this leather will become this leather. Like, you see how well-worn that is? Like, this, even though it's beat to death, still looks great. Like, I still throw it on shamelessly. I would rather my kicks, by the way, look like this than like this. I try not to keep kicks dead stock for too long. So, that red, mm, this is like, oh, okay, um... Yeah, I have a, a, a quick lunch, a, a, a quick lunch meeting. Uh, just go over some numbers with someone, no problem. You know what I'm saying? Just keeping it cash. Bang. I keep saying bang. Fomer's gonna sue me, bro. My last joints that I just picked up. Not the last, actually, the last in this box. So. These ones are near and dear to me because I have a soft spot for anyone that suffers from any sort of disability or inability or inequity. Anything that makes them quote unquote different where somebody feels like they can treat them a certain kind of way, I don't ride with that. You know what I'm saying? I support everyone. And when I worked for Nike, I was a huge believer in, in one of the mantras, if you have a body, you're an athlete. And I, I truly believe that. So these um, pro WNBA basketball player, Alina Della Don, my favorite WNBA player, probably top five favorite basketball players currently, period. Um, the world champion, Washington Mystics, shout out, you know what I'm saying? Um, her sister suffers from um, a couple of different um, disabilities. And so Nike partnered with Alina to design these with her sister in mind, and they have what's called fly ease, so you can get into them. I'll, I'll let you have another peek at the tech. Sorry about the glare. Let me see if I can adjust this light, get rid of that there. There we go. So some of the tech involved in this shoe is crazy. I'll give you a second to pause so you can read on that bang. If I say bang one more time, I swear, I'm gonna have to give him video credits in this shit, Jesus. So, this one, worn by reigning 
WNBA champion, I believe league MVP as well. I know for sure uh, finals MVP. Actually, no, she did not win finals MVP. Uh, the Danish, is she Danish? I know she's foreign. The foreign gal won it. Uh, 33, I believe she wears, because she was shooting out the gym, like shooting, shooting for real. Um, so these right here, man, like, first of all, purple's my favorite color. A, so you have me there. B, Alina Deladon, my favorite WNBA player. Uh, and I believe the only WNBA player with Nike to currently have a signature, which is huge. Because even like Diana Taurasi, she was wearing LeBron, Sue Bird wears Kyrie's. Like a lot of the top tier players in the WNBA do not have their own shoe unless it's with another company. Um, I believe Skylar Diggins has something in the works with Puma. Um, and I'm sure there's some Adidas player. Actually, no, nobody on Adidas has a SIG, not, not a lady anyway. Um, nonetheless, boom. This one is called, I got to get it right, Nike Air Zoom Universe. And the universe is acronymed out right there, as you can see. So I'm going to kind of fumble through this with you guys because um, I got these in the mail, but it was dinner time and I got two kids. So that comes first. So we're going to we're going to kind of break down this shoe together. So uh, you got Velcro on this side that opens up again right there. So you got like two stages of Velcro right there and all. Whoop. Oh God! Error right there. Okay, so um, I just I just kept going with the Velcro. So around the side there. Boom. So now let me take out this little insert. We drop that top. Oh, well, I thought it stayed back there. Okay, maybe it doesn't stay, but that's cool nonetheless. See that convertible action, so the athlete can slide their foot in, like so. Um, and I believe one of the um, one of the disabilities Elena's sister has is cerebral palsy. So Fly Ease helps with uh, folks that can uh, can usually have a lot of trouble getting into a regular shoe, either lacing one or just getting one on. Fly Ease eases some of that pain. So boom, drop the top, slide the foot in, goes back. Um, there is a magnet in here as well um, to keep it locked in place. So my favorite thing about the shoe, other than the fact that it's purple, other than the fact that it's inclusive, other than the fact that it's Alina's, other than the fact that it's got all kinds of cool verbiage and messages going on, cushion system. You know me, you know I'm gonna talk about that cushion system. So down here, we've got a uh, full length rubber, which is dope. That's gonna have super traction. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna try to highlight it. It says zoom right there. Hopefully you can read that. Maybe I'll try to take a still, but it's in there. Full length zoom air, front to rear. You can see right there, it says zoom. So everything encapsulated in this white foam right here, zoom air. And that, pop quiz, kids, if you've been paying attention, is my favorite cushion system any company has to offer, um, Nike specifically, and even outside of Nike. I mean, look, look at all the details. Look at how the color just pops. This swoosh, by the way, I believe is 3M. I will double check that with some stills as well. But come on, guys, like, just awesome. Hang on, let me, let me actually get my camera in order there. Boom, look at that. Just awesome. Like, so cool, so fresh, so unique. Don't mind the, the clutter you see we just moved. Um, into this bomb house um, that we will show you on my wife's new vlog that she's coming out with. Um, but yeah, you know, nothing major. Just uh, one, two, three, four, five. Just five pair. Two more the way. Yeah. Um, anyway, appreciate your time. Double A does reviews. Uh, I'll be getting back at you with those other two things. Hmm four things i gotta be honest i told my wife about it today she took it like a champ but my birthday's in like a week i'm gonna do what i want to do you know what i'm saying we're grown out here we paying bills out here you feel me appreciate your time peace